Hey guys, so everything else is getting canceled, but we do have an awesome test here between the best Samsung and the best Apple. So let's go right to it. Now the Samsung has some pretty excellent specs. I'd say the best on the market. It has a camera over 100 MP and also a 5000 capacity battery. But that said, we'll see how it holds up in actual use. So in terms of the first test, boot up. We have a van here for the Samsung. And now the iPhone's up. All right guys, now for the specs. The Samsung's larger display and also a faster refresh rate. Now on the front, the Samsung is a high resolution camera, but the iPhone is an extra lens for face unlock. And on the back, we have four cameras versus three. The Samsung supports micro SD. And the Samsung also has a larger battery. Both phones are the latest chipsets, but the Samsung has quadruple the RAM. Both phones are water resistant. Now at the bottom we have Type-C versus Lightning port, but no headphone jacks. The S20 has 5G and is also more expensive. And on the back both are glass. Alright guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, get into it. Reddit. Samsung. eBay. Samsung. Spotify. Again, the Samsung. YouTube. Now, the Samsung is the first phone with the latest Snapdragon. And so far doing an excellent job here. Now the basic apps have more to do with the UI, the OS, but uh, we'll see for gaming. Usually the iPhone's excellent for gaming. Amazon shopping. Once again, the Samsung. And last basic app we have photos. All right, so pretty close there. So now for gaming. Now, the iPhone is not lost yet for PUBG. And no exception here, the iPhone takes PUBG. Jump run. This one, the Android is pretty strong with. And once again, we have the Android. Samsung takes Temp run. Plans for zombies. Ah, thought I did not press on the Samsung. One sec, guys. Plans for zombies. Yeah, so Samsung is taking a second to boot up there. <laughs> Easy winner for the iPhone. All right, so next up, we have the big one in Fortnite. Okay, so I am logged in the account. Yeah, and it just uh, found it there. Okay, now the iPhone is gonna optimize here. So for the Samsung, it skips the optimization. Now this happens every time you start your iPhone. So this is gonna make it take a lot longer. All right, so the Samsung wins for this round, but after this, we'll go and close out and go back in, just so the iPhone won't have to optimize.
Yeah, so very easy win here for the Samsung. Okay, so next up, let's go and uh, close out a beach. And we'll go back in there. Alright, so once again, we have Fortnite. Now, this time, the iPhone is going to skip the optimization. Yeah, so go straight to the play option. Yeah, so in this case, easy one for the iPhone. So next up we have Geekbench. And we're running Cinefuel. Time that not for Chrome vs Safari. And as always, gonna quit the web history. Alright, so first let's do BigEast.com. One of those tournaments that was just cancelled. And that was advantage for the Samsung. Next up we have IGN. And we just had E3 canceled, but uh, we do have Animal Crossing coming out pretty soon. Next is through INDB. I'm actually kind of surprised that they're uh, not pushing back movies. But yeah, once again, we have the Samsung there. And let's do Samsung and an Apple. Samsung. Sammy. And for the last one, let's do Apple.com. And we have Advantage for the iPhone. But overall, Advantage for the Samsung. Eyes of Glory, no copyright. And now for the speakers. Now both phones are dual speakers. So first you have the S20. iPhone Back to Samsung In my summer. So I'd say both are pretty similar. But as always, tell me your preference. Okay, so now for the display fingerprint. First, face unlock. Alright, so Vantia for the Samsung. Now, I will say for the Samsung, you do have to get it, uh, be very precise for it. So, you have to make sure you have your fingerprint, like, directly on it. So I'd say the iPhone is more accurate, but again, the Samsung is a bit quicker. Time now for batteries. Alright, so we'll be back in a few. So more than four and a half hours in.
Let's go and check in. All right, so slight advantage for the Samsung. Now keep in mind, the iPhone is excellent battery this year. So pretty good job here for the Samsung. All right, so now for RAM. Now, just to make this a bit tougher, uh, we're going to open up the camera apps on each because the camera apps take up a bunch of RAM. Now, the Samsung has 16 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. So, going back to the beginning here, we have Reddit. So, here you guys see with the um, Samsung No Restart, but for the iPhone, you do have one. eBay. Again, a restart there for the iPhone. Spotify. Now, if we don't go as far back in the memory, so let's say, for example, if we... Uh, we'll do one of the games here. So let's do Temperon 2. So once again, we're not going as far back. Both hold it. Back to YouTube. Both hold it. And we'll just do one more. Let's do Fortnite. Oops, did not press it there for the iPhone, but both hold it. Okay, so advantage for the Samsung, but decent job for the iPhone, especially only having four gigabytes of RAM. Next is on Geekbench. Advantage for the iPhone. But in terms of RAM, of course, we have advantage for the Samsung. Time now for camera speed. Now, first I'll show you guys the Galaxy on the default setting. So the iPhone a bit quicker here. And now I'll change it to the 108 MP camera. So this should be a lot slower. Yeah, so that takes a pretty long time to process, but not that bad. Next I'll show you the zoom of each camera. Since the Samsung has a record 100 times zoom for the photos, now the iPhone has a maximum of 10 times zoom. So for the first samples, I'm gonna show you both phones at 10 times zoom. So for the Samsung, the image is definitely a bit clearer. And I'll post the images on Twitter if you wanna take a better look. Now I'll show you the Samsung at 100 times zoom, which gets pretty ugly. So I tried taking a few dozen pictures and these are some of the best I can do at 100 times zoom. Um, I'm definitely not impressed and they honestly should just cap this at 30 to 50 times because 100 times just doesn't look good. Next year, look at the front cameras. And stabilization. Now look at the rear cameras. <laughs> And the stabilization. And here's a look at the wide angle.
We also have the maximum zoom, which is 20 times on the Samsung and six on the iPhone for the video mode. Here's also a look at the fourth camera on the Samsung, which where's the background? All right, guys, so I'm going to comment below which phone won. Now, I'd say overall the S20, but keep in mind it is more expensive. And the iPhone also won for some of the categories. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And stay safe.